Hello students, welcome to Physics Facts. Students, in our previous videos, we discussed atom, reflection of light and refraction of light. In this three topic, I create a playlist. In the description box, the link is given. You go through that link and if any, any doubt, contact me with my mail id in optics in the first video of optics we discussed that optics is divided into two category one is ray optics in which we discuss the particle nature of light another one is wave optics here we discuss the wave nature of light then in ray optics we discuss reflection of light and refraction of light then students from laws of refraction the concept from laws of laws of refraction to our total internal reflection total internal reflection that all topic undergoes refraction in plane surface that means that interface is plane the separation between two medium one rare or two denser medium the separation between two medium or the interface is a plane surface okay uh, we know that as ray passes from rare to denser medium it went towards the normal then as ray passes from this one is denser medium and this one is rare medium as ray passes from denser to rare medium then it go away from the normal that's all topic we elaborately discuss now today we discuss about refraction at spherical surface okay then what is spherical surface if we consider this one is a sphere divided this sphere in a small part then this surface is the part of this sphere and known as spherical surface here this side okay this side is known as this side is known as convex spherical surface or if we take this one then this side is known as concave spherical surface this side is known as convex spherical surface how it used in our diagram and how we take derivation we we'll later discuss and this one is the concave spherical surface okay the spherical surface is two type one is convex spherical surface another one is concave spherical surface and how convex spherical surface and concave spherical surface form we discuss now we go to the topic in details now here refraction at spherical surface we discuss one is refraction in convex spherical surface second one refraction in concave spherical surface next in case of refraction at spherical surface we first discuss some assumptions and some conditions okay so what is the assumptions first one that object is taken as point object okay object is point object very small object and that aperture that is a b is the aperture take us a b is the aperture of any spherical surface that is may be convex or may be concave that aperture of that reflecting surface that is also very small aperture of this spherical surface that is also very very small so that the incident ray and refracted ray which makes an angle that angle are also very small derivation part when we got sin i or tan i because of that i value is very small sin i is taken as i and sin r is taken as r okay because of that i r are very small angles so sin i is equivalent to i and sin r is equivalent to r here students these three are the basic assumptions okay object is point object aperture is very very small and due to that aperture is very small sin i the angle which is produced due to incident ray and due to refracted ray that angles are very very small so 
here sin i or tan value of i okay that is equivalent to i and r okay next what are the conditions the first condition here we take that object in rarer medium take that object in rarer medium then as image is real one or virtual one okay one condition then second condition if that object is in denser medium if that object is in denser medium then how refraction takes place okay object in rarer medium that image form real or virtual next object if that object is in denser medium okay then image form that is real or virtual okay mane pile ethe ame different case dekhu che dekho ethe object kon achi rarer medium re achi to ए कंडीशन रे इमेज रियल हबो कि वर्चुअल हबो दीटा कंडीशन असला नेक्स्ट इफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन डेंसर मीडियम हला जदि ऑब्जेक्ट डेंसर मीडियम रे छि ताहाले इमेज रियल हबो या वर्चुअल हबो दीटा कंडीशन असला नेक्स्ट कंकेव स्पेरिकल सरफेस दैट इमेज इज ऑलवेज वर्चुअल ओके हियर ओनली वी कंसीडर अबाउट ऑब्जेक्ट इन रेरर मीडियम सेकंड कंडीशन ऑब्जेक्ट इन डेंसर मीडियम Okay, students. Based on these assumptions, we go to that different condition. Here we discuss six different condition. Okay, so you clearly analysis one to two condition so that you remember all other procedures. Okay. Next here we discuss. the first condition refraction at convex spherical surface that first condition object lie in rarer medium okay and for image is real one okay now take that this one is the rarer medium and refractive index take as mu1 and this one is the denser medium take that refractive index mu2 okay so that the second medium may be a bounded region may be a bounded region now let p is the pole of this spherical surface and if this one is the spherical surface then here this one is the center of curvature for this concave spherical surface okay if Take as this one is clear. Then this one is the center, okay? And that is the center of curvature for this spherical surface. And P C, that is the radius of curvature, okay? The distance between center to pole to center of curvature. The distance is radius of curvature. Now that point is here. We start. Take a point object O on the principal axis, okay? A P B is the aperture. Which is very very small. Consider two incident ray. One is this one. One incident ray O N. One incident ray. This one is the actual path of the incident ray. But as the ray passes from rarer to denser medium, okay, it deviates from its actual position. So students, first here we draw normal. That normal. is this one okay and normal this point to your this one is the normal okay now the angle between incident ray this one is the incident ray and normal this is the angle of incident okay now Your ray passes from rarer to denser medium, so it deviates its path and bent towards the normal. This one is the normal. Okay, so the the ray bent towards the normal. So here, the refracted ray is from this point to this one. This one is the refracted ray. This one, okay. Here, another incident ray OP. Due to its 
passes normal to the inductive phase, so there is no deviation occur, and this one is the refracted ray. You have these two refracted ray. One is this one and this one. These two refracted ray meet at this point, so your image is produced. And because of that refracted ray meet at this point and image produced, so that image is a real one. Okay. And the angle between normal, this one is the normal, okay student, normal to the refracted ray, this angle is the angle of refraction. Okay, clear? Now, the distance between object to pole, this, this one is the object distance and sign condenser that is negative. And the distance between pole to image, this one is the image distance and here the image distance, sign condenser that is positive. Okay? Next, the angle which is produced on the principal axis due to incident ray, this angle is taken as alpha. The angle which is produced on the principal axis due to refracted ray, this angle is taken as beta. Okay, and the angle between normal to principal axis, that angle is taken as gamma. Also, you draw perpendicular, that is. Nm perpendicular to the principal axis because of this one aperture is very small aperture is very very small so the distance between P to M that is very less next student we go to the derivation part so here what happened first we calculate angle of incident and angle of refraction so students, as we here calculate the angle of incident, the the A and the angle of incident bar So, we have to determine the angle of incident. So, we have to determine the NOC. If we take the triangle NOC, okay, in triangle NOC, angle I is equal to angle I is equal to alpha plus gamma NOC. So, I equals to alpha plus gamma. Alpha plus gamma. Okay. Next. As we take angle R. For angle R. Angle R bahar kuriya pahin. Amme next coat angle kundi la. Amme angle R bahar kuri pariwa. That is N I C. A triangle ra dekho. Amara R ra chhe. Hala. So, in triangle N I C. Okay. R. Plus beta equals to gamma. Here, N I C R plus beta equals to gamma. So, here angle R plus angle beta equals to gamma. Okay. Next. So, what is R? R equals to angle R equals to angle gamma minus angle beta. Okay, next, we know that sin i by sin r, sin i by sin r equals to mu2 by mu1. Sin i by sin r equals to mu2 by mu1. So, as we simplify this one, mu1 sin i is equals to mu2 sin r. In the previous assumptions, we discussed that sin i is equivalent to i and sin r is equivalent to r. So, here you put this one mu 1 i is equals to mu 2 r. Okay. In that i and r value, you put this value of i and r. Okay. Dekho bile. Mu 1 i mu 2 r as ila i r jagare a value ko ame put kariwa. Thika chhi. So, mu 1 i Put the value that is alpha plus gamma equals to mu2. R that is equals to gamma minus beta. Hmm. Then, here we put the value of alpha, beta, gamma. Okay. So, first we discuss about what is alpha, beta and gamma. Okay. So, first one students, alpha equals to take as tan alpha. Because that alpha, beta, gamma, that are very, very small. So, tan alpha is equivalent to alpha. Then, what is tan alpha? If we take this angle is alpha, then this one is B, this one is P, okay, and this one is H. 
and we know that tan theta equals to p by d so here tan alpha equals to n m by o m mm. n m by o m because m is very near it to p so we put position of m we put the value of p that means o m jagare ame o p put kari pariba because m is very near to p at the position of o m you put o p okay next what is beta beta equals to tan beta similarly you follow the step this one is beta so n m by m i amile it has bujha try karo dekho alpha aku ame kon koche n m by o m beta n m by m i gamma n m by m c hala ke kon paile n m by i m or you put n m by p i next in the value of gamma that is tan gamma that is equals to gamma that is n m by m c in the value of m c we put p c okay i am directly next return that n m by p c next in the value of alpha beta gamma you put this values hmm so what happen here mu 1 alpha that is n m by o p plus gamma n m by p c this equals to mu 2 gamma that is n m by p c minus beta n m by p i then you take common n m and n m both side cancel is n m common bahar kar diyo कॉमन बाहर कले दीटा जाको बटे एन एम जेतु छि एन एम कैंसिल हिजबो नेक्स्ट हमें कोन करबा म्यू 1 एंड म्यू 2 को बोथ साइड मल्टीप्लाई कर दोवा म्यू 1 बाय ओ पी प्लस म्यू 1 बाय पी सी इज इक्वल टू म्यू 2 बाय पी सी माइनस म्यू 2 बाय पी आई ओके नेक्स्ट पी सी को गुटे पटे रखिवा ताले कोन आसो म्यू 1 बाय ओ पी प्लस म्यू टू बाय पी आई इज इक्वल टू म्यू टू बाय पी सी माइनस म्यू वन बाय पी सी ओके देन म्यू वन बाय ओ पी व्हाट इज ओ पी ओ पी इज द ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस माइनस यू देन म्यू टू बाय पी आई व्हाट इज पी आई पी आई इज द इमेज डिस्टेंस फॉर द वैल्यू देन दिस वन सिंपलीफाई दिस वन दैट इज म्यू टू माइनस म्यू वन बाय पी सी what is this it that is the radius of curvature okay so here we conclude the equation okay that means if object is in rarer medium then what is the formula and how refraction takes place that the refracted ray bends towards the normal image is real and here mu1 by object distance plus mu2 by image distance equals to mu2 minus mu1 by radius of curvature here students mu2 minus mu1 ya kon lo ko mu2 minus mu1 then saturated mu2 minus mu1 by r hmm? next we go to the second case now in the second case object lie in rarer medium but image is a virtual one we know that student if the two ray are diverges but appears to come from one point at that case the image is a virtual one Oops. in this case this one is the rarer medium this one is the denser medium object lie in rarer medium that means ray passes from rarer to denser medium rarer medium have refractive index mu1 denser medium have refractive index mu2 object lie in this rarer medium hey guys this one is one incident ray that is on this one is one incident ray and another incident ray that is op the two incident ray okay as that op is normal to the interface there is no deviation occur and here this one is the incident ray and this one is the normal okay so the angle between normal and incident ray okay this one is the normal cn is the normal on is the incident ray the angle between normal and incident ray that is the angle of incidence okay now 
as ray passes from rarer to denser medium. This one is the actual path of the incident ray. But it deviated its path and bent towards the normal because ray passes from rarer to denser. So it bent towards the normal. So what is the refracted ray? Take us. This one is the refracted ray. This one is the actual path of the incident ray. And here this one is the This one is the refracted ray. Okay. And here this two refracted ray. One is this one. And this one. The two refracted ray diverge. But appears to come from this point. So this here image is produced. But that image is a virtual one. Okay. Then same here. The angle between principal axis to incident ray that is alpha. Principal axis to refracted ray that is beta and the angle between principal axis to the normal that is gamma. Okay, then here students, this one is the normal and this one is the refracted ray. So here this angle is the angle of refraction. Same procedure you follow. First you determine I and R in triangle NOC. You determine uh, angle I. Look up. N O C. Okay, N O C. I equals to alpha plus gamma. Angle I equals to alpha plus gamma. Then angle N I C. Take N. Okay, I C. So R equals to beta plus gamma. Okay, in triangle N I C. Angle R equals to beta plus gamma. Same here you put the sin i by sin r, sin i by sin r is equal to sin i by sin r equals to mu 2 by mu 1. Then your mu 1 sin i is equal to mu 2 sin r. Then same procedure students, mu 1 r, mu 1 i is equal to mu 2 r. Put the value of i and r here. i and r put here. And in the condition of alpha, beta gamma you put the value of alpha beta gamma okay how it comes in previous we discussed okay so you put in the value of i and r you put first this value of i and r then, and simplify then you got that answer that is mu 1 by minus u plus mu 2 by v is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 by r Okay students, so here this one is the radius of curvature, here this one is the object distance and this one is the image distance. Object distance and image distance, the sign convention taken as negative. And deduce the derivation part. So you can go that mu1 by minus u plus mu2 by v equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r. Students, here we discuss that object lag in rarer medium. Next, that condition we discuss, if object is in denser medium, then how refraction takes place? And here also we discuss two cases. One is image is a real one, image is a virtual one. Okay. Now, in this case, object lie in denser medium. One is image is real one and second one image is virtual one. So students, in this case, first one. This one is the convex surface and the convex surface side is always in a rarer medium side. Okay? And this one is the denser medium. And here, we take that radar medium have refractive index mu1 and denser medium have refractive index mu2. Pille the object it is rarer for rarer medium le achi. It is object no but denser medium le. Hala, manne air no haji convex surface the radar side le achi. It is convex surface the denser potassium because object denser potassium. So convex surface the denser potassium se anu ho. Object denser potassium but convex surface always in always towards the 
रेरर मीडियम साइड कन्वेक्स सरफेस यदि हमें कन्वेक्स फेरिकल सरफेस ना हो कन्वेक्स सरफेस ऑलवेज रेरर टुवर्ड्स द रेरर मीडियम सेम जमी हमें कन्केव ना कन्केव सरफेस इज टुवर्ड्स द रेरर मीडियम ओके सो यार दिस कन्वेक्स सरफेस इज टुवर्ड्स द रेरर मीडियम ओके दिस वन इज द रेरर मीडियम रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स म्यू वन एंड दिस वन इज द डेंसर मीडियम हैविंग रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स म्यू टू नेक्स्ट हियर वी डिस्कस टू कंडीशन इमेज इज अ रियल वन इमेज इज अ विचुअल वन टेक दैट अपरेचर ए पी बी पी इज द पोल ऑफ द स्पेरिकल सरफेस एंड दैट सी दैट इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन सी टू पी दैट इज द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ओके हियर इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर and this one is the radius of curvature students here you remember the two important tricks when we got real image at that case object is beyond c object is beyond c okay or object is far away from the pole but when we take that image is a virtual one object is nearer to the pole object is nearer to the pole here on is the incident ray and another incident ray that is op okay as op is normal to the interface there is no deviation occur then here on is the incident ray and cn is the normal so this is the angle i this one this one is the angle i hmm? and as the ray passes from denser to rarer medium this one is the actual path of the incident ray as ray passes from denser to rarer medium it deviate its path and went away from the normal okay went away from the normal this one is the actual path of the incident ray but it deviate and went away from the normal go away from the normal so ray empty jao kela se deviate hobo hala e path re jao kela deviate hobo so e asibo रिफ्रैक्टेड रे है इट हमें नंबर इमेज है हियर दिस टू रिफ्रैक्टेड रे मीट एट दिस पॉइंट सो हियर इमेज इज प्रोड्यूस एंड दैट इमेज इज अ रियल वन बिकॉज़ टू रिफ्रैक्टेड रे मीट एट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस साइन कंडेंसेशन माइनस यू दिस डिस्टेंस इज द इमेज डिस्टेंस साइन कंडेंसेशन प्लस v ओके एंड हियर दिस वन इज द नॉर्मल दिस वन इज द रिफ्रैक्टेड रे सो दिस एंगल इज द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन and here this angle is alpha this angle is beta and this angle is taken as gamma students here you remember two step in triangle in triangle noc you calculate angle i then in triangle nic you calculate angle r and put the value of i and r in this equation that uh, sin i is equivalent to i and sin r is equivalent to r and here we know that sin i by sin r is equals to sin i by sin r sin i by sin r equals to mu1 by mu2 put the value mu1 by mu2 then this one equals to mu2 i mu2 i is equals to mu1 r okay and here in case of i and r you put the value what is in your equation i and r is given you put the value and in case of uh, alpha beta gamma you put that alpha beta gamma in the form of nm by op nm by pi and nm by pc and solve this one okay like here here cn is the normal on is the incident ray another incident ray op okay here image is a visual one ray passes from denser to rarer medium so the ray went away from the normal this one is the incident ray but went away from the normal dekho le ekhe kon hochi e eta rohichi incident ray aur e achi normal so e ta to dure ki jibo eta rohila normal eta achi amara incident ray eta hala e amara incident ray achi bujhba cho so se dure ki jibo mane kon hobo e to emti deviate hobo हेलो सो से एमिट डेविएट हेले से तार पाथ कोन आसो एमिट पाथ आसो बुझ पर जो सो एट है आसो हमरो रिफ्रैक्टेड रे रा पाथ हला सो इमेज प्रोड्यूस होबो इथि इमेज प्रोड्यूस होबो हला नाउ दिस वन 
is the object distance and this one is the image distance and all are in sign convention negative. Okay, you put the value and follow the procedures. Then you got that mu2 by minus u plus mu1 by v is equal to mu1 minus mu2 by r. It has a power to mu1 by minus u plus mu2 by v is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r. It is by 1 mu2 by minus u plus mu2 by minus u plus mu1 by v mu1 by v equals to mu1 minus mu2 by r ile dekho eku kemiti mon rakhibo object ko uthe achi error site re tahale error no refractive index by object distance plus image ko uthe produce hochi denser pate so denser no refractive index by image distance then mu2 minus mu1 by r sente ethe object ko uthe achi denser medium re denser medium re refractive index kete mu2 so mu2 by minus u plus image ko to produce hochi then error pade error no refractive index ko na mu1 mu1 by v equals to mu1 minus mu2 by r okay so today image real ho ya virtual ho dita jak pai amara formula same but difference ko condition re achi object error medium re achi ya object denser medium re achi e dita formula tumi mon rakhibo bye thank you students for your support if this videos are helping you any way then share with your friend circle so they also benefited in this lockdown period